How to change usernames and roles in WordPress. Hey there, Von Blurt here again. In every WordPress installation, you're going to need to change a username and a role a time or two. We're going to go to the WordPress administration pages. This is done by typing in the URL of your blog, followed by a forward slash WP admin. You'll be prompted for your username and password. Type that in and press the login button. So we're going to go all the way down to the bottom of our administration menu. We're going to hover over the users menu and up will pop the hover menu and we're going to choose all users. This will bring up the users administration page. Here's one thing to note. You cannot change your usernames once you create them. You can, however, change what name is publicly displayed. So if you want to change a username in WordPress, you'll have to A, either go into the database and change it, which is inherently more complex, or B, create a new user with a username you want and then migrate content to that new user. But if what you're really looking to do is to change the name that is publicly displayed on WordPress, then all you have to do is click the user that you want to modify on the list. Now, this will actually bring you to a profile editing page. Here you will go down to the name section. You'll see username, first name, last name, and nickname. Enter values for those fields. Once they are entered, you can now select the display name publicly as from the drop down selection box. You will have different variations of nickname, first name, last name, and usernames. Pick one of these, click update profile, and any content associated with this user will now be publicly displayed as the option that you selected. So we'll go back to some posts by this user to see how it is displayed. And there you go. Here's how our username change looks. Okay, now we're going to get more complex, but don't fret. We're going to talk about changing roles of users. Roles are basically what sort of permissions that a user has in a system. In a default WordPress installation, you will have five roles. That user can either be a basic subscriber all the way up to a full-fledged administrator. You can think of these as going up a ladder of permissions with each step you have more privileges. They are a subscriber, a contributor, an author, an editor, and finally an administrator. Subscriber is the most basic for permissions with only the ability to subscribe to your posts. Contributors is someone that can, has the ability to comment. Authors are just that. They have the ability to create posts on your WordPress site. Now editors have the ability to edit content from multiple authors as well as create content themselves. And administrators, think of them as your super users on your system. They have the ability to do everything on the system, so be careful whom you assign an administrator role. You don't want to end up setting off a nuclear war if they push that wrong button somewhere. So, how do we change a user's role? Well, that is also done on the user's page. Say, for example, my user here, Jethro Mull. Well, I want to put him up to an author. So what I'll do is go to this drop-down box called Change Role 2. I'm then going to select the user Jethro Mull. And now I'm going to click the Change button. And voila, Jethro Mull is ready to start authoring content on my WordPress site. Now here's a tip. When developing your WordPress site, make sure that you plan out the roles of your users. This helps in the long run when you decide to bring on additional authors or contributors to help publish on your site. That's how easy it is, folks. I'm Von Bullard. And that's how to change username roles and passwords in WordPress.